What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about the second book in the Crave series, Crush by Tracy Wolf. So this book picks up a little bit after the events of Crave in which a lot of crazy stuff happened um, and ended in a big explosive kind of way, which obviously if you don't want spoilers for you should go and watch that video instead. Um, but Grace wakes up after being transformed into stone and basically everything has changed, uh, time has passed, she's got Hudson in her head, things are going on, she's losing time, like what the heck is happening here. And I will say my expectations for Crush were a lot higher than they were for Crave, specifically because I really liked Crave. It was a lot better than I was expecting. Like it was still kind of dumb, but it like dumb in a self-aware kind of way. So I was excited for like more of that humor. I wanted to see more of these characters. And I will say like Crush just really didn't do it for me. I knew from like the first page that this book was gonna be a struggle and it really was. This book is so long because we still spend so much time, which happened in the first book, but we spend a lot of time just not telling Grace anything. And we'll spend multiple chapters talking about the same thing with Grace trying to get people to tell her stuff. But it's just like, oh no, you should rest. Or oh no, you should do this. Or oh, like you poor you and blah, blah, blah. And it's one thing in the first book to have Grace be fed up with it. And she's still fed up with it in this book. But you can only push that so far when it's like, okay, but you as an author are still doing this. Like, could we please get some character development for some other characters so we could finally move beyond this? I feel like the only person who does kind of any kind of growth is probably Grace. Everybody else feels exactly the same and yet completely different. I think it's really obvious from reading this book that Crave was written and then when she went in to go and write the next book, I think she was just like, sequel to Crave, same characters, let's just go. There was no plan, there is no arc for any of these other characters. Like things are introduced and things are happening that don't fit with the first book. And honestly, it worries me because this is like a five book series, at least five books. That's what Goodreads says right now. But there's clearly no plan. These books are so long. And honestly, I can't imagine trying to read the next one because I just don't think I can go through more of the same again. Now, I didn't hate this book. I still think it's fun. I, I still think it does have like that fun sense of humor, like these fun characters, but it's so long. This book could easily be half of what it actually is and still come across just fine. I think the problem is, is, you know, combined with retreading a lot of terror is that there are a lot of things happening. This book is a lot bigger than the first one. Like there's this other kind of quest happening, these other things going on. And I just don't think it's balanced very well. Um, the end of this book feels like it's part of a different series altogether. And it just, none of it really flowed and sat well with me. I would say my favorite parts and really the only parts that I like really enjoyed were the parts with Grace and Hudson. He's a very interesting character. I love the way that he's introduced. I love of their interactions. I like how he fits within the story. That all I really liked. And honestly, because of the end of this book and because of how he's presented, it makes me want to read the third one. But I've heard that the third one's the bad one, which is really hard for me to believe because of how much I disliked this one. So I honestly just don't know what to think anymore. I think that Crave is very fun. I think it's very good. I think it was really interesting. And I think that that's kind of where it ends. I don't think there's much of a plan or anything going on here. I would be more more interested in keeping up with the series if they weren't so freaking long. These books are so long and I would be more interested in reading on and finding out what happens, but I just don't know if I can go through seven to 800 more pages of more of the same. So I am giving this book a C minus. I do still recommend Crave. I do still think if like you're a Twilight fan, if you're a vampire fan, like that kind of thing, it's gonna be fun. But this one was just a major letdown. I don't know if it's because my expectations were higher or what, but it just really didn't do it for me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Books With Me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.